Wow. All right, guys, it's time for entertainment news. First up, Benro Ajibade confirms split from wife Osas. Nigerian actor and model Benro Ajibade has confirmed that his marriage with Osas Igodaro is no more. Now, he made this known in a recent interview with Ebuka on Robin Mind, where he revealed that they, that they are currently divorced and co-parenting their child, I mean, their only child. Um, he further talked about the perception of people who think he got married to Osas for a green card. He said, and I quote, if it was about that, I wouldn't go through all that process. Do a traditional marriage, involve families, do a white wedding in New York. Do you know how much I spent? <clears throat> it was way far from that. That just popped up when we started having kids and it was the next thing up. Now, if you would recall some few months back, the speculation of Osas and Bayro's marriage crisis hit the internet after he slammed Osas on Instagram over her parental skills. Now, the couple had their wedding in July 2015 and welcomed their child, Azaria in 2016 but it's well, all over now this is this is under, this is under sad sad news sad. for yeah for nigerian celebrities yes we've been seeing the hints here and there but now when has put it out when has put it out there that it's official they're divorced they're not separated they're divorced, divorced. and they're just co-parenting azara it's just a crazy situation about it's now mm. becoming like a regular template yeah. Yeah. from the nigerian entertainment industry Mm. I don't know, man. To be honest, I, I mean, this might sound weird because they're divorced. I'm actually still rooting for them to somehow patch it back together. But perhaps that might not happen. Not just a personal fan yeah. wish, you know what I mean? But I also feel like um, maybe some of these things are happening because, you know, if you look at the older celebrities, the Omotolas and, you know, Joke Silva. Joke Silvers, their personal life was quite personal. Like, I just feel like where do you draw the line between sharing your personal secrets or the personal challenges in your marriages do you feel like if they hadn't come out and explain explained themselves to only god knows who like to all of us yeah. would they have had a chance to go to therapy or you because what happens is that most times somebody comes out with this gist Bero comes out and says, Osas is not a good parent. And yeah, on social media, fans, yeah. A lot, a lot of people that are saying, oh, this is not how it's supposed to be. And you're reading all these yeah. comments and it's swelling your anger the more. So I don't know, maybe I feel like people should take cues from this and try and keep okay. their personal so lives So I, I watched personal. the interview and, um, you know, he was asked if, if, if he had anything to do with the fact that they were public figures and everything. And he said he wasn't going to go too much into all of that mm. or the reason why the marriage, you know, um, crashed. But in all honesty, I've heard people say that they saw the marriage crash even if before it happened mm. like yes, you know people they, that worked with them people room. close to them said it that you know there was always friction it was like we will do to the answer let's just let's just keep moving let's just keep moving and also he said something about you know he was asked if the, the fact that he, he regretted coming out to um, or calling her out rather on Instagram at the time and he said look it was like his last resort however I totally disagree with this because your last resort is not to call someone out it, I mean this is your wife it's not like you bought something from someone on Instagram and yes. you've been trying to call the person and the person is not picking up then you now call the person yeah. out exactly. that, that makes sense but I'm married to you and at the time someone said to me that you know what Mary wasn't even very present as a parent as well and this is someone that you know she has a life to live you're not exactly running stuff this is speculation this was um said yeah. in the you know before they come for me alleged though so um People said stuff like, oh, Bero himself was far away. And he said, no, he had to make the sacrifice for his family as mm, well. But then mm. you don't start pointing fingers because you're not present yourself. I mean, she's a public figure. And aside to that, she's also an actor. Maybe she was on set till that time. But no, then so the thing this, is that... Of this case yeah. now, is it because they didn't have time for their marriage? It might because be, because it might in, be those days, in those days, people, our parents got married and they were still busy doing other things. No, What's that, happening now? No, I disagree with you. I feel like uh, when, I, for instance, I can talk for myself. Okay. When my parents got married, my, my mom used to run a school for eight years. She had to pause her school teaching, um, running a school to take care of us for a couple of years before she started working <sighs> again. If that was that was very consistent in our parents' times. Now, I'm not saying anybody should not work, but somebody has to reduce whatever it is they are doing. Like, somebody has to give. So it doesn't if, have to if, be the woman. the person that has reduced um, whatever it is that she has to do, or let me just say, in this case, the woman had to reduce because the husband was away, and they were not getting funds from the husband. She would have to go out there to work. 
Definitely. That's why I say it doesn't have to be the woman. Somebody has to, there has to be a balance. I can say in my sister's house, my, my brother-in-law most of the time takes care of his, his, my, my niece. Not because he has his own business, he runs his own business, so he's in charge of his time. Yeah. But she has to go to work, so she sees her daughter late at night. I'm not saying it has to be a woman thing. There has to be an agreement of, okay, let's work this out. For a couple of months, you, you know, focus on the child. For a couple of months, I work. It doesn't have to be a woman, it doesn't have to be a man, but it's an agreement between people who have got to marry also i would like to say that see at the end of the day the signs are always there don't ignore them like the red flags don't ignore them don't feel like oh you would manage you would manage because if it's bad in a relationship trust me darling it's gonna marriage. be like times three in marriage mm. like so you know the signs are always there just okay. well, we <laughs> just, wish them the best yeah and you know we're rooting for them individually at the end of the day we still love them you all know, right, so, all yeah. right. All right, moving on to the next story. Omotola Jalade Ekende bags honorary degree. Yes, Nollywood actress Omotola Jalade Ekende has been awarded honorary degree by the Igbenedian University. The actress was honored with a doctorate of arts for her contribution to human development and progress at national and international levels. Omotola was honored alongside other Nigerians, including former President Goodluck Jonathan, Oba Said Ademola Elegushi, Chairman Business International Management, So Breton. Agba. An excited the Motola took to her Instagram page to celebrate a new ac accomplishment with a picture of her certificate with a caption Dr. Mrs. Omotola Jalade Ekeinde, MFR, Honorary Doctor, Doctor of Arts, D Arts. Thanks, you, Igbenijan University, Okada. To God be the glory. End hmm. quote. So, ladies and gentlemen, right now when you see Omotola, just call her Doctor. Doctor Omotola. Omotola. <laughs> Don't want to trouble. Just call her the Doctor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just call that's, her that's the Doctor. That's a fantastic one. I'm massive, so massive happy. Congratulations massive her. congratulations mm. to her. You know, I like the fact that Omotola is one woman who has not let you know family, age, whatever it is, she doesn't let these things be a challenge. She keeps moving, she keeps beating boundaries, she keeps overcoming challenges, and I have to give her that. She's very hardworking, actually. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations to her. Any, congratulations. any other thing? Okay. Congratulations. All right. So we're just going to when, move. When, when are you getting your own? Why are you people shaking yeah. yourselves? When are you getting your own? In anticipation of our own, oh, Dr. Arike. Wow. <laughs> it's not even sitting down well. <laughs> On that note, ignore them, okay? They are just in their minds, in their imagination. Wow. <laughs> Dr. OJ sounds good, Abby. Yeah, Dr. Wow, OJ. Well, guys, moving on to the four scenes, still the entertainment news. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott spotted together. Hmm. Mm. A strange couple, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, were spotted together where they spent Thanksgiving together with their daughter, Stormy. According to sources, Kylie and Travis are good. They get along and seem happy whenever they're together. They're all about making sure Stormy has a happy life. Now, the source further stated that they're not of officially back together, but you can tell that they still love each other. Now, if you recall, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott are taking a break after two years of dating, with Kylie confirming the great breakup saying, and I'm quoting, Travis and I are on great terms, and our main focus right now is Stormy. Our friendship and our daughter is priority. Hmm. This, this is surprisingly mature. First of all, coming from um, <coughs> Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, you know, I won't lie to you. When I first heard about their relationship and for I was, I think at the time she was 18 going on 19, I was like, mm. what is wrong with Travis Scott? Why is he taking advantage of a teenager? Hey. That's what I thought I, at I the time. Uh, no, but that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm mm. actually being honest because I follow the Kardashians. So I watch Kylie Jenner from being a 13 year old. You prefer Tiger being, with Kylie? <clears throat> with Kylie. Yeah, Tiger. No, I, I don't think I preferred any of them. I'm just trying to say that in my <laughs> mind, it just felt, you know, sometimes when you're a fan, you feel like you yeah. have ownership over a person's yeah. life. Yeah. But then I now found out that they took this, their relationship, and they took it in a very mature way. Even mm -hmm. when she was pregnant and they had a baby, they kept things very respectful. Yeah, She's sure. always respectful towards Travis Scott. Even till now, she said, that's my, my baby yeah, daddy, yeah, and yeah, I have yeah. to respect him. And now that they have split up, it's still very cordial. That is mature. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to them. I'm happy with the way they're dealing with things. Perhaps, you know, I wish they were still together, but life happens, things happen, they're still young. That picture, I think that they would... But, but, but Loki, there's no way you want to totally break off from... Kylie Jenner is one of the richest, youngest people right now. So you think it's about the money? It's about the Kardashian-Jenner fame. You, every, I, I don't know, I think every black entertainer still needs those people in a way. What you do get, you mean by that? Fred, how do I put this in the same manner? Um, 
you know how big the Kardashian Jenner family is. They have a reality show. They are making money for themselves. So if you are involved, looking for fame. No, if you are involved with them, one way or the other, their fan base comes to you too. Mm. Being the baby daddy of Kylie Jenner. So that's adding more fan base to your already big well, fan base. I, I do understand. So you don't want to just saying. totally break up and just leave. <laughs> they will leave you. You know, you know the funniest thing, what OJ is saying the is fan quite will leave honest, you. Sha. It's ah, quite honest. That's the way you do it. Well, Use your brain, though. <laughs> brain, brain. So are you trying to say that Kanye West is with Kim because of that? <laughs> no. Because that's, I, that's, 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 that one is another that's, exactly. That's love right there, but. Love? It is it. <laughs> I can't believe I actually put OJ on the spot and caught him. Wow. <laughs> Wow, but, but, we're just but, going to say um, we hope for the best for yes, them. Like yeah, definitely. absolutely. But them coming back together, do you see it happening? It might not happen. They're still, I mean, I, I don't know about Travis. I'm not sure how old he is, but Kylie Jenner is still very young. So she still has a lot of, I mean, they had, they speculated um, rumors Drake. about Drake. So, mm, Aubrey, I don't know. Drake? <laughs> Drake wants to chop But I'm in for that, yeah. <laughs> He wants to chop from the Kardashian money <laughs> and the fame. The fame. <laughs> no, we don't want. Drake already wow. has, yeah. We don't can just want. add those. And Drake is full of, I don't know, drama. No, no, we don't want. You know what? So we're I'm just done. going to finish up the entertainment news on that note and wish Kylie and Travis Scott the best.